why don't you just talk for a little bit about why you're supporting Hillary? Um, the reason I'm supporting Hillary is because she has been doing an outstanding job. She's probably the most traveled um, Secretary of State. She's gone in so much um, regions and, and fighting hard during a couple of wars, which um, the administration before the, well, Obama, which the administration she's working now, the Bush administration went into Iraq um, thinking they had weapons of mass destruction and so much things that they did to mess up that Obama administration has been fixing. They killed bin Laden and everything, and um, Hillary plays a big part of that. Um, as they said before, she's probably the most experienced person that ever ran for the office. And she's like, she's, um, she has the foundation where her and her husband, Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton was someone who did a lot of work as well. And so she has not only experience with the White House um, as a Senate or a Secretary of State, but she has an experience in the Oval Office because of her husband. So there's so many reasons why Hillary is so much more qualified, and it's a lot of Republicans that are saying never Trump, and it's never been like that before. That means that they're serious about their country. Those Republicans are serious about their country, and instead of them going like gang members, Crips or Bloods, they're saying, hey, I'm not going to go with this side because of this color. I'm going to go with the side that has more experience. Because Honestly, um, what I always tell people when I talk to people that are borderline or never Hillary's, I tell them like this, like, listen, never before it's been this way. Um, Hillary is not only so qualified, but it's, 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 it's very important that we do this for our children. You know, this guy is not well, every, all the values that we were born with, that we grew up learning in school to be professional to be courteous, to be polite, to be considerate, all of those were down a drain if I choose Donald Trump. Right. He's not professional at all. So. And what, what do you say to folks who say, well, I don't know, I've heard all these bad things about Hillary, you know, isn't she just as bad? Listen, I am a, I am a pillar for the Hillary campaign. I'm on Periscope. I don't go to the... Um, to the Hillary sites on Periscope or Facebook or other social medias. I go to Donald Trump's. I go into the lion's den and I talk to them, you know? And then I, I tell them like, hey, you guys are saying Hillary. It's like you, the example I always give people is, hey, you're comparing negative five to negative 50? Mm -hmm. like, really? If, if Hillary, let's say if um, those things she's being accused for, I mean, even if it's small things, she'll say, hey, I apologize. That's how I am. If, if people accuse me of something and I feel like it's something small, I'll still apologize because, hey, I probably didn't pay attention to this or that. But Donald Trump is blatant lies after lies and proven lies, and now they're fact-checking. And he's really in trouble without the prompt, the teleprompter at the debate. And so you'll be voting for Hillary, not just against Trump. Oh, definitely for Hillary and against Trump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, uh, I love my country, you know, and I have two kids and I can't afford to take that chance. What's so insulting as, as also with the African-American community, he's telling them, hey, what do you got to lose? To me, that's an insult. That's not how you... Um, court people. That's not how you present yourself to people. Show them a better plan that you have. Don't say, what do you got to lose and show them that they have a bad track record when there's a lot of African Americans that are that are um, growing and there's a lot of millionaires every day that are coming out of the woodworks and we just elected uh, an African American president twice. So you don't, don't down the country like we need to get great again. This is a great country. We hear a lot of stuff about anti-Trump um, and <laughs> it's amazing to me, and people aren't aren't convinced by the anti-Trump argument. But people want to yeah. hear something positive too. I mean, why why do you why do you think you feel good about voting for Hillary? Oh man, so many reasons. Like I just told you, she's so experienced. She's the hardest working Secretary of State probably in history. She has a great husband who's who was advisable and so much people, just like Trump say, the, her husband get paid a lot of money for making speeches. Why do you think that? Because he has a brain on him and he, <laughs> he has a brain on him and people likes hearing him talk. Come on now. But I don't understand the, the never Hillary people. 
you're over judging her, you know? Okay, and also I just like would like to say uh, thank you for doing your job. You know, over here we call we call this place the Hillary Distillery. This was like a abandoned recording studio that we took with our money. As you can see, we have a desk over there and a, a desk back there in the other room and a desk here. And we call it the Hillary Distillery, and we call our, the car the Hillary the Hill Mobile. You know, <laughs> because we feel like this is very important, and we're not we're not rich. We're kind of poor. You know, making trying to make ends meet, but we understand that this is a country that's have it getting progress and Donald Trump is just 10 steps backwards.